So Microsoft has been playing catch up with the no code experience for the last five years. But on November the 2nd, we saw the release of Microsoft Loop, a new way to combine existing experiences into one. Now, Loop provides a great example of how Microsoft has been forward thinking in helping leapfrog a market that they haven't taken seriously, in my opinion. So where is Microsoft Loop and when can we expect it to land on our desktops? So if you want to check out Bento, it's a brand new application we're launching very soon. You can become part of the waitlist, or if it's already out by then, you can check it out in the link in the description. Thanks, guys. Now let's zoom back to 2020. Microsoft shared a fluid as a framework with us to make applications usable inside of text-based areas like Teams and within documents. Microsoft Loop has promised us a way to collaborate across boundaries with Loop components, some already available in different areas. The YouTube channel Collaboration Coach and Daryl as a Service demonstrates this superbly, covering the Loop components that are already available inside of Microsoft Loop. But Microsoft Loop promised us a separate application, and what's the update on this? Now, while there isn't a specific official date, Microsoft Loop components across 365 applications like Teams, Outlook, and OneNote already started rolling out the month after November. And they also promised that this will be available on Windows and naturally in the experiences you already have. Now, Daryl as a service wrote a fantastic article about an overview of this recent experience. And he stated that he expects the official release to be in the first half of 2022. And this is something that has been echoed around the Microsoft community. And it will likely, his recommendation is it will likely be available in public preview. As right now, they have a Teams public preview of Loop. So essentially, we're looking to see Microsoft Loop probably in the next two months as a standalone application, most likely available on Windows and Mac and desktop to start things out. Now, it's really great to see Microsoft Loop out in the wild when it appears, as Google Workspace have introduced a more pageless experience recently, helping to drive competition against Loop. And Notion as well, introducing Sync Database at their most recent block by block event that helps you formally connect between applications. But this is set to release later the year. And also they set to improve the way that team pages are being handled inside of Notion. So this market is continuing to grow, but with Microsoft really striking a blow with Loop to the likes of progressive applications like Notion and Coda. So expect to see things come very soon. And if you're new here on the channel, It'd be great to have you as a subscriber because we'll likely cover the official Microsoft Loop launch. Anyway, folks, a big thank you, and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Cheerio.